There's no mathematical formula for that. The Oscar-nominated film Hidden Figures Going Global, with 80 U.S. embassies around the world flooded by requests for screenings. Dozens of countries hoping to inspire their girls to become scientists and engineers. There was one female RSO. Sofia Eliana Contreras from Argentina, one of 50 women brought to the U.S. by the State Department in a program to encourage women with hidden talents in science and math. You can't be what you can't see. And we need strong women role models to be able to identify with them. Spending three weeks with American trailblazers like NASA scientist Florence Tan. What made you think that a young girl could do this? Star Trek really inspired me, and, and I thought, wow, I want to work in space. According to the World Economic Forum, women earn only one-third of undergraduate STEM degrees, despite accounting for 60 percent of college graduates. If you Google what is a programmer, you will see only men. So the stereotypes are all around the world. Florence Tan is no stranger to being the only woman in the room. Born in Malaysia, she came to the U.S. for college, starting at NASA in the 1980s, working on landmark missions like the famous Cassini probe to Saturn. What is important about mentoring women from other countries? By 2024, there will be almost a million engineering and computer science jobs. We don't have enough people to do this work. Women. So we need, we women, need women for these We need women. This is just for, na national, just for the national good. An untapped source of badly needed talent brought out of the shadows and into the labs. Andrea Mitchell, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.